What is going on guys? Pro Player Apathy here today bringing you a new video, a new setting that has been implemented into the Call of Duty game the dead zone yes the dead zone that is correct today we're going to be talking about the dead zone a bit going a little bit in depth and talking more about it because obviously it's a setting that has been affecting a lot of people a lot of people feel different a lot of people have stick drift i'm getting a lot of people coming to my stream asking me uh what what does the dead zone do what setting are you running your dead zone what's your dead zone so today's video i'm going to be talking about all that and explaining you know what's the best dead zone setting so let's get right into it baby so first thing first the default setting for dead zone is 0 0.05 now 0 0.05 as you can see i don't have any stick drift so we're gonna go ahead and lower down this to zero so you guys can understand what stick drift is it's common sense but if you don't know what stick drift is basically when your stick moves uh, to a certain side by itself so if i look at this right here i have it on zero as you can see it's slowly slowly uh i do have a good controller it seems that i don't have really much stick drift on this controller but as you can see it's slowly going to the left at a very slow pace now this is very different depending on one thing your controller some controllers have more stick drift than others some controllers are more worn out some controllers are just built differently so obviously stick drift is a big problem i've had it really bad in certain controllers and i feel like if it's the point where it's that bad like that that bad where you have to increase the dead zone really high at that point you want to probably just invest into a new controller get a new controller because you don't want your dead zone to be that high i think it just messes with up with your aim so i was fortunate enough to have a pretty good controller that really doesn't have much stick drift at all but in my opinion you want to have the lowest dead zone possible because that's going to allow you to achieve your full potential especially when it comes to aiming so for example i'm going to show you guys something let me go to 55 five here i'm going to go to 20. let's go to let's uh, 20 is too high let's go to 15. so okay i mean it still feels good right the dead zone feels good it feels a little a little slightly stiff it feels a little stiff but it feels good now i'm gonna show you guys something um where like you're sort of limited so i'm gonna try to do circles okay full-on circles this is not me cheating or anything so i'm gonna try to do small circles i can't really like this is probably like doing super slow it's probably the smallest circle i can do right like doing a good like almost perfect circle like it's almost impossible to do like a very small circle like this is me this is even me struggling to do a circle so you can see i'm pretty limited the dead zone obviously doing its job uh really maintaining the control on the stick so this is like a small circle so okay so i can't really do a circle obviously it's a little bit high i don't i don't recommend you playing 0.15 if you have to play this high dead zone you might as well get a new controller i think the highest you should be going is maybe 10 12. Uh, i would say 10 but hey i mean everyone's different so now i'm just gonna go to default 0.05 so now you can see i can make smaller circles so I'm, I'm less limited i got more more control of my stick more control of my my controller more control just in general so this is the default this is basically uh i'm pretty sure what the default setting is this is what we've been playing on they just allow you to go lower a little bit higher depending on how bad your stick drift is so as you can see i'm able to like control make little circles uh just more more control on the stick um obviously if you have more stick drift then you're gonna have to probably increase a little bit to really uh stabilize the stick and make sure you're not getting stick drift because stick drift is horrible now you guys saw 0 0.05 i can make some small circles i got some control um it's not that bad at all it's solid obviously it's the default so you can't really complain it's pretty good i can make some circles right now we're gonna go down to let's say i play on 0 0.02 0 0.01 randomly i get a little bit stick drift but let's just go 0 0.00 just for the sake of the video so now that we're in 0 0.00 as you can see i can make very 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 small circles very tiny ones just little circles right here i have unlimited control of the stick i'm just allowed to i'm allowed to like just do whatever i want and it's not the best obviously if you're getting stick drift you don't want to play on this but the fact that you're even allowed to go lower than the dead zone and just get more control of the stick is actually it's actually pretty insane um like i said the setting i've been playing on 0 0.02 i think it's a healthy medium if you don't really have stick drift and you want to have more control of your stick and uh even be more loose on the sticks and like have more uh, just freedom you know when it comes to snapping when it comes to just moving around and just gaming uh, you go 0 0.02 if you go 0 0.01 you could try it but like let's say right now i have 0 0.01 I have no stick drift, right? It's fine. But once in a while, I'll have some. I might even try 0 0.01 today, to be honest, because it looks like I really don't have stick drift. Like, as you can see right now, I, I, I'm going to snap my sticks around. You probably hear the snapping. Uh, just kind of get the sticks loose, see if it'll activate the stick drift at all. And it's not really activating it. I just have a really, like I said, I do have a good controller, which is really important. If you're, if you're, if you're having too much stick drift on a low, on a low dead zone, then you want a new controller get a new controller because you don't want your dead zone to be that high it's just going to mess up with your aim it's going to mess up 
what's your potential, bro? You could be doing better, playing better if your dead zone's a little bit lower or default at least. So you can see my stick is moving slightly to the right right now. You can see the drift in this. It's not the best, um, but that's just rare. Like I had to really step my sticks around to really activate the drift. Um, but normally, you know, I'm not, I don't really have like any stick drift. All right, guys, so we're going to go to 0 0.02 here. That's what I've been playing on the past two days. Uh, I think it's just the best healthy medium for like going lower than the default. I feel like when you go too low, then it's like, okay, now, I'm, now I feel a little too free. Um, it is a little bit personal preference. Like if you want your sticks to feel a little bit looser and you like that like complete freedom, then you can go ahead and lower it down to zero or try 0 0.01. But I was playing on 0 0.02 the past two days, and I really feel like my aim has been on point. Let me actually turn off the textual tap. That's a war zone setting right there. Now I have to hold again my P5. So 0 0.02, I think, is amazing. It's probably the best dead zone setting you can get and have over the default. Default is obviously the default, and it's nice. But if you can lower the dead zone setting, in my opinion, I think you should. Um, the lower the, the dead zone, I feel like it's the better and the more control you have over your stick. Now, obviously, uh, I think this goes more for like skill for players or people who have good aim. Um, it would be good or feel restricted on the sticks that uh, you lower the default dead zone setting to 0 0.02. So this is more for like not the novice players, not the beginners, the you know the more the more the little bit more experienced players uh, should be could try this and should be using this. Um, obviously, if you're still trying to get good at Call of Duty, then you can just watch some YouTube videos. I do have a couple on how to improve your aim, how to improve your, you know, just your aim in general. And you can stick to the default dead zone setting. Um, once you get better aim, then you can lower it down to 0 0.02, 0 0.03. Uh, I think around that range is really good. Uh, the fact that you're able to, to lower it down the, the dead zone, like I said, it's, it's pretty amazing. I think it helps, honestly, with your aim and you can be even better on the sticks. Takes a little bit of practice, takes a little bit of experience, like took a little bit of uh, while to get used to this, but I feel a little bit more control. Like it's kind of weird. Like, so my sense is 5.5 five right now, 5.51. Five, five, and with 0 0.02 dead zone instead of default, my stick feels uh, a little bit loose. Like a little slight, it doesn't feel like 5.5. Five. My sense feels like, if I can give you an exaggerate, it, like an estimate, I'll say like 5.25. Like it feels slightly faster. Doesn't feel like it's a whole nother sense, but it does feel slightly faster in certain circumstances. And I guess that's like when I'm whipping my sticks around, dead zone's a little bit lower. Uh, you definitely feel that that increase in, in like in the sensitivity. So like I said, with this new dead zone setting, if you do have stick drift and it is it is like a problem, you obviously want to increase your dead zone. That's when you increase it uh, to help stop the stick drift because obviously you do not want to have your stick going like this randomly, right? That is actually really annoying. I've had it happen to me past games. It even happened to me with one controller in this game. And uh, it was really bad. It wasn't... It wasn't like this. It would just randomly do this or like this, like a, a, a full on just like kind of just go on its own. And that was really annoying. So if you do have if you do have stick drift then obviously increase the dead zone until and you want to work slowly. Don't like I said, you want to have the lowest dead zone possible. That's the goal. You want to have the lowest. So let's say you have stick drift, right? You're you're you have stick drift right now. You're on 0 0.05 the default. You're like, all right, let me go 0 0.06. All right, it's still a little stick drift. Now let me go 0 0.07. Okay, it's very little. I can still see it. Let's go 0.08. Okay, it's, it's still. Okay, let's stay there. You don't want to go from 0 0.05. All right, let me go to 0 0.10. Okay, there's no stick drift. No. You want to keep it at the minimum, the lowest possible you can go, because that is the goal. You want to have the lowest dead zone possible while obviously not having stick drift. And like I said, if the stick drift is really bad, and it's just so bad that you have to go higher than 10, 12, like at that point, you, I mean, you could use a temporary, you know, you can keep the stick drift, but at that point, you definitely want to just use a new controller, try to get a new controller, invest into a new controller, and uh, just so you can, you know, not have that dead zone issue. And I feel like if you have a higher dead zone, it is kind of hindering you a bit uh, to a certain extent, especially playing at the high level or playing at a competitive level. You know, you want to have the lowest dead zone possible. That's why I have mine at 0.02. I think it gives me a little bit more freedom on the sticks. It feels nice. It feels really good and clean. Um, as you could play 0 0.02, 0 0.03. I think those are probably the two best. I like 0 0.02 personally. I think it's perfect. Um, 0 0.01 and 0 <laughs> dead zone. Uh, I do get a slight stick there sometimes. Not where it's bad or noticeable. So like I could play on it. But like I said earlier, it just feels a little too loose. And I and at that point, I feel like it's just messing up. With my, it's not even helping me aim because like you obviously want to have a little bit uh, a little bit of stiffness to the aim so it's easier to shoot people but you could try it out like if you're noticing you're like me you're like my controller uh you're not really getting any stick drift and you could really go low as hell 
then you could definitely try it out and uh, mess around with the setting and see if you if you like it, you know, if you like 0 0.01, 0 0.00. So I hope you guys enjoyed this new video. A big reason, like I said, I made it is because a lot of people come into my stream asking me about it, a lot of people. And obviously, uh, me being a pro player, I could give you guys some insight and really talk about it, go in depth. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video was helpful to you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Check out my live stream at twitch.tv slash apathy. I do stream almost every single day. Um, I stream competitive stuff. I stream a lot of Warzone, just having fun and just dominating the game. You already know the vibes. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.